All right, let's give this game a try. I've heard many, many things about it. Mostly not good things, but it is time now that it is currently free for me to make my own judgment. The last Fallout game I played was Fallout 4, and I played through it fully. The first time I played it, I didn't get through it completely. Uh, and then I decided to go back and like play through the full main storyline. It was worth it. Fallout 4 is all right. I'm not going to skip anything, war. by the way. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. This has a very that is why today, similar vibe to Hell Divers. July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Sweet. Yeah, that, that has a very similar vibe to Helldivers. Our way of life. Democracy. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. Ah, but it's time classic character creation. Should I just go random? Today is reclamation day. Face. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault Can I just click this? You come from every walk of life, every Oh, race, I can give myself mascara. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. Oh man, they really yeah, there's a lot. But more importantly, you'll always I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna spend three hours in character creation. Could give our guy a scar. I don't know. I don't know if I care to I, I just want to like press randomize and like just have it done. Yeah, so when you change your face, it changes everything. I don't is this randomizing it? 
This looks like randomizing, except like with no face markings or anything. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I think they are preset. Yeah, they're they're preset. They're preset and then you can um change them with extras. It says sculpt. Oh, you can you can change the way. Okay. You can sculpt your your face. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm done. Whatever. <laughs> Wait, I could just take a photo of anything? Weird. Why does it let me change the... Oh, weird. My character just disappeared. Oh, I can zoom out. Yeah, there we go. Whatever. Uh, exit? Okay, we're in it now. Oh, my mouse sensitivity is way too high. Here's the map. How do I get to settings? Z. Okay. But that's a little better. I can feel that this was designed for a controller and it's bothersome. Like just make it a number. Just 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 make it a number. All right. Sweet. Unstoppable something? Huh. Fake window. I'm gonna I'm gonna loot goblin the the f out of this game. Um, I'm not gonna read everything because, as far as I recall, Bethesda games have a lot of reading. So they use the last of the rations to throw the party. Nuka Tapper? What? Hold space. Oh, this is like a classic game, isn't it? I can't remember what the OG is called the o OG arcade game. So we just we have to hold it for a little bit. What? What am I meant to do? Wait, was I meant to be paying attention to what they were shaking? Did we did we do it correctly? That was a random guess. Okay. 
Okay, we lose... We lose if we send one and there's no one there. Some of them re request another one. What happens if I'm not here when the glasses get here? Do I need to be standing there when the glasses get there? I assume so. Yeah. Nice. That was level four? One, two, three, four, and then it's that one. So it's the fifth one. That's not too difficult when you understand what to, oh, this is confusing. Imagine I just spend all my time in game just just playing this mini game I never actually get to the actual game It's like oh yeah it's a great game never actually played the actual game have a hundred hours in game just doing this oh, I failed all right one try left I thought there were three. Oh, I could have been sending her one at the same time. Oh, there was a glass up top that I missed. Yeah, that's that gets difficult. Level six is insane. GG's. I want to see what happens if I... Okay. It just... It starts from the beginning again. All right. Eject hollow tape, Nuka Tapper. Interesting. Wait, do we have that on our on our person? How do I see my inventory? Oh, I don't have a pit boy yet. Okay. I like the the blue and yellow. My field of view feels very low. Uh, let's see if we can increase that. Field of view. Beautiful. Just max it out. 120. I personally like a very wide field of view. I know not everyone likes that, but I do. And I'm the one playing the game, so I'm gonna just stick with it. It's just like, why wouldn't you want a wider field of view? You can just see more stuff wherever you look. And I have a giant monitor, so... The trusty old pit boy. Yeah, I was pressing tab earlier and I was wondering. Yes, we've got the Nuka Tapper. Hollow tape. It's time to rebuild America. 
Alright, does this open it? Yeah. Are we one of the last to leave? Nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Press V to switch between the first and third person. Oh, interesting. Cool. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. This uh overseer's kind of hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer, signing off. Looks like it was a crazy party. Message repeats in 24 hours. System breakdown. Yeah, I assume we're not going to be able to get in at any of that. Hello. Crutchley. At last! Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. <laughs> what if what if I don't want to leave? It is endearing to hear how wonderful a job myself and the others have done maintaining the vault for these many months. But the food's all run out, and it's time to take what you've learned and use it. The kiosks yeah, have they mentioned that using the last of the reserves. Under. Best get cracking. Yeah, and I don't, I don't That's plan on doing like all of the dialogue. Along the way. Um, like I could, I think I can I talk to say, him again. Your room could do with some tidying. That party was so long ago. Yeah, so we're one of the last to one of the last to get up, I guess. Sir, uh you've stayed so, so long hold past it. reclamation day, our stores are nearly depleted. Worthy? Yeah, I'm not going to do all the dialogue, like... Go on, take the meds. But you'll need to find more out there. Um... As far as I understand it, there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of reading so, in this game. about the infrastructure out there in Appalachia, I suspect there isn't any. <laughs> yeah, because it all got fucking exploded. Oh, we get a party hat. Nice. Merryman. Yeah, I, I know most of the lore of Fallout, so I'm not going to, like, go through all of this. The lore behind some of the vaults is actually crazy. And some of the vaults you find in, like, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4. Uh, oops. I accidentally clicked again while I was. Yeah, let's let's go. We're good, right? I did get something. I don't know what I just got. Discover the overseer's mission. Um. Yeah, I I like played it. And then canceled it immediately. Logs, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. 
I've been given a task, and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. Please, sir, but it's I been 25 years. I just longer. don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Yeah, I think some of this dialogue prompts missions. Um, like that, that was something we needed to do to complete this first mission. But yeah, most of the dialogue is very, like, fluffy. Find your calling, study, learn, work. Get a job. <laughs> I love the vault, the vault boys. The blue and yellow is, like, very iconic. I don't know where... Like, I haven't played any of the early Fallout games. And I kind of want to. Wait, I forgot how to do this. Um. Like, oh yes, the deduction. Sin Trash here, welcome. The deduction. It can't be half because there's the L in the third position, right? That's not helpful. Actually, it is. It can't be says because that would be two likeness. Yeah, it's the deduction. So there's an A in the second position. Can't be paid uh, same. It's either same or game. Yeah, it was either same or game. We were one away. Well, rip. It can't have been too important if it just locked us out. Oh my, that is very bright. Pick a special loadout. Battle ready dweller. Best choice. <laughs> Includes weapon armor perk cards. Prepared to jump into more difficult content. I'm going to go with the not best choice. Action points regen. That grants XP when you team up with other vaults. Melee weapon. Bonus to pistols. Impact heals 15 more health. I think action points regen is probably like 
the best bread and butter, right? untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening, but I'm not sure if she believed me. Do be careful out there, sir. I wonder, is this the same voice actor that did um, the robot in Fallout 4? Alright, what are my... Speak to Lacey. Speak to Lane? I assume this is on the map, right? Yeah. And there's also a diamond in the winner. hud maybe wait a vault dweller H hey there whoa whoa just a friend here not a threat just had some questions for you you came out of the vault right i thought it was empty wait is the door still open um Son of a bitch, we missed our chance. We really needed that. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After and he said that inside that traps. vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck The big away. one? Oh, there's another player. Uh, The big one's in there, all right. You what are know, they talking about? The thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Well, yeah. There was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something gonna stick it out until we find we've it. got the hopium wonderful thanks for answering some questions for us i suppose seems only fair i return the favor anything we can answer for you they sent you out here without a weapon a quick it's probably a bad idea to unarmed. start at sure. level two but whatever happy to tell you what i know which wasn't much Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down in exchange for all our money. It's up to us now to make Carter, something of I think. Them. Um, I wonder if any of this prompts a, if you're a quest, because I know that's sure kind of how it works. Sorry, you might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be. Maybe I will do all the point. dialogue. We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous, but it's better than where we've been. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, 
the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The scorched. The merciless. They seem to have cleaned up the whoever the bombs missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. Interesting. Watch yourself out there. All right, what weapon did we get? We got a machete. Okay. It's better than nothing. Baseball grenade. How do I throw a grenade? <laughs> uh Wait, I have a gun? Wait, when did I get a gun? Yeah, why isn't the gun showing up? Oh, cuz I needed to scroll to Weapons. All right, middle click. That's tab V. X is auto run. G G is Ema. H is to uh, use a stim to heal. That makes sense. Here, toggle active. What is this? Is it the responders at the White Spring Refuge to get authorization to launch new expedition missions? Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll go and talk to them. I think we we talked to these guys enough, right? Talk to Lacey. She got us into this. Can't be a dead end. Oh, was there something else? Nope. All right, let's go. I may as well take my time. Uh. I don't know if harvesting all this stuff is a good idea. It, it's tempting to harvest it all. Uh, how much weight does it have? Two five, two five. Uh, how much? How much carrying capacity do we have? Uh, stat. Oh, here in the bottom left, 79 of 165. All right, so we're like half full right now. I'm getting consistently over 70 frames per second, which is ideal. That is a ghoul. Oh my. Weak feral ghoul. Orders. I need you to make the monthly scouting run. Oh, they died. Yeah, I imagine uh, not being able to hack that console earlier like I don't think that that I don't think that that uh, is going to make us miss anything I can't imagine them putting something in like oh you tried it once you can't try it again and uh, if you mess it up the first time like you're not going to be able to do stuff
squirrel. We're just killing all the all the wildlife. Psycho. Yeah, I can't remember what a lot of this stuff does. But I imagine there's some type of crafting in the game. I think, yeah, M. It's in that direction. I need to go down there. I'm trying to figure out, like, what I can harvest and what I can't. We saw one other player earlier. I don't know if there's open PvP. Like, I don't think you can just go around attacking other players. I don't think you can do that. I mean, I think you can, but I don't think it damages them. Like, I think there's some type of engagement rule for PvP. I can't remember. I remember reading about it a while ago. Didn't really care about it at the time. Because this game, when it first came out, was a mess. It was a mess. The performance optimization was terrible. <clears throat> People just couldn't, basically couldn't play. Um, There were weird, quirky things that, that people were complaining about. I don't remember anything in particular, but it all added up to me not wanting to play it. Isn't there a way to do... Those guys are so quick. I don't think you can use your... Um, what's it called again? The the aim assist thing. Stash box. Items put in a stash box are accessible from any other stash box in the world. And this has 1,200 capacity. Scrap box. Each player can only see and access their own items from a stash box. Okay junk my junk so i should just store all this junk in there fallout first is required to add items okay i think i have to i think i have to go and interact with this first hard work pays off if you want to save haven go to our headquarters in the refuge in the old white spring resort yeah, they're, as far as I understand, the ghouls, like, some ghouls are still okay, and then others have, like, lost their minds. Hey, friend. Can I get you anything? Hello there, stranger. Where'd you come All right, this is Lane. One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. Solved a lot of problems. And caused a lot of problems, but I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem-solving kind, would you? Could use one of those right about now. Oh, excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalachia's filling up fast. And we're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. I like to think so. It gives me hope. I hate do-gooders. All the wrongs in this world. We definitely could have gone like a lot going on liar asshole route. I, I don't know if I'm feeling it. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest. Creepy cult I did it in Fallout teams. 4. All manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand, and I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. I did say that you would be duly compensated. That much is only fair. Uh, here's the job for today. 
forest is a dangerous place. Not compared to other regions, mind you, but let's not lose sight of the facts. To make it safer for new settlements, we've been clearing out dangerous critters and using the meat to feed people in need. If you could go retrieve the meat from our traps, I will happily compensate you. If our trappers have done their jobs right, the coast should be clear. But I wouldn't rule it out. Or just to escape for a while. I appreciate your help. Stay safe out there. Alright, collect fresh meat from the first trap. So, it said something about the scrap box earlier. Um, out here in the wilderness makes me feel so alive. Can I just take those? What is it? Huh. Thanks for the caps. So it said something here, right? Like, I wanted to put my ceramic in here. Fallout first is required to add items to the scrap box. Now, I don't know what Fallout first is, but I'm going to look I'm going to look it up right now. Okay, it's a paid subscription service. So yes, there is pretty hefty monetization in this game. Which is another reason why I kind of avoided it. Yeah, exclusive utility, cosmetic items, atoms per month. Yeah. And I mean, I guess it's an MMO, so it makes some sense. But that is that is an example of the monetization in the game. I wanted to just check it over here quickly. Yeah, subscribe to Fallout first. It's six dollars and forty nine six Yeah, six dollars and forty nine cents for a month and then thirteen dollars a month after that. Thirteen dollars a month for a game is pretty hefty but yes the base game right now is 80 percent off and you don't need fallout first but that is that is what this error message is fallout first is required if you want to use the scrap box otherwise otherwise i believe i can just put this stuff in here so it's effectively just extra storage right how much capacity is in here I think it's just infinite. Infinite scrap storage. Yeah. Okay. That's a quest item, but I think that's what that icon is. Uh, this is a carrying capacity backpack plus five carry weight. We don't want to get rid of our sim pack. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some, rid of some of my my weight. Like, I have a lot of weight right now. And I don't know... Um, I wish there was a way to... S Here, T is to store all junk. That's a very, very convenient... Very, very convenient key. Alright. Yeah, we're good. All right, this is the chemistry station. So we can make boiled and purified water here. Okay, escape gets you off of the... To go back, I press tab. Yeah. Fusion cores. 
you need five different types of flux to make a fusion core. Stim packs are from purified water. Oh, diluted stim pack. Restores health with an initial burst followed by a slower rate of healing. Okay, so that's 5 HP 2 seconds, 1 HP 20 seconds. Let me build one of these. Okay, and you get experience if you craft. Interesting. And if I check... Yeah, Simpack diluted. Yeah, so I assume it just does half as much because you get two for one. Change player icon. Atomic Shop. Okay, this is what I saw when I first opened the game that I was interested about. This is the premium shop in the game. The cosmetic premium shop. These are default. Okay, this is the one we have right now. Let's go gladiator icon. Can we get it? We have 80, we have 80 currency. Yeah, I, I assume these are power armor skins. I assume like pretty much everything is uh yeah these are included with fallout first so they include cosmetics with the subscription i'm just gonna get everything that's free if it says free i'm just gonna get it Sort by sort by free. So there's a camp system. I just want to get this out of the way. Okay, I can get all of these icons. Sweet. Free lunch box. XP boost, random, okay. So there are items that increase XP gain. Utility items that you can buy with premium currency. Which is fine. That's, you know, it's not like this game is like a PVP heavy pay to win game. So it's a PVE MMO primarily. I, I need to look up how the PVP works. I don't know exactly how it works. Can we go back into Vault 76? I still want to successfully oh this is someone else's camp evolutions camp interesting i don't i don't feel like going through all of the workbenches right now simple soot flower tea that was what we were picking up earlier hp max ap but then it gives you rads cuz it uses It uses boiled water. Purified water, you need a water filter. I don't know how to get a water filter. All right. I think I just untoggled that as the active quest. My bad. All right, let's go and collect the meat that we were initially tasked with doing. It's 
very convenient that we start out with a 10 millimeter pistol. Um, I will say that there is some frame stuttering. Like, I noticed my frame kind of jittering between 70 and 60. What is this then? Chop wood. Chop wood. Protect and serve. Protectron. Yeah, I remember those from Fallout 4. <laughs> Silt beam. Fox? It doesn't look like a fox, that looks like a person. Blood leaf. Scavenger. Yep. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Cheers, friend. Are these going to attack us? They're red. Huh. Fire cap. Can I steal their stuff? Doesn't seem like they mind. Huh. What is that? Radstag. Interesting. Want to check this house while we're here? It's feeling all right so far. I'm I'm enjoying the environment. It's feeling all right. Vault 51 Overseer. Ruben's safe key. Okay, miscellaneous quest. Pray to God I survive. Interesting. Shelter building supplies. Gears and copper. Yeah, I think you can use um, all of the junk that you get, you can process into other things, right? This, this game is like set up for loot goblins. I, I am gonna say that the, um, that, shadow effect is not okay whatever those shadows are doing is not okay i'm gonna check my settings let's see if we can get some like shadow smoothing display oh that's gonna require a restart yeah the lighting quality that's crazy. I have a 3070 Ti, and this was default set to low. Um, I think everything else is okay. Oh, camera shake can get turned off. Yeah. Um, maybe I, I should restart. I don't know how difficult that's going to be. And I'm pretty sure this is not a local instance, so my game should save. Uh, but yeah, that shadow effect is... That's... It's every time I move. It, it's like pixelated. And then when I move, it causes that like... that flickering effect that's not that's not okay um i'm gonna restart my game
Yeah, let me quit the desktop and then reload it. I want to see if turning up the shadow effects fixes it. But that that was going to start that was going to start getting to me. Like shadows and lighting are just one of those things in graphics that I just I, I when it's good, I just appreciate it so much. When it's bad, I can't stand it. Helldivers does lighting very, very well. All right, what happens if I... Okay, so they're different instances. And to play in a private server, you need to pay the subscription fee. Quantum World? Interesting. Custom world. Yeah, the the private and the custom are Fallout first. So adventure is just like the standard game mode. This is like public public servers. Public official servers. And we've seen like two other players just kind of roaming around. There's a maximum of 24 players. Yes, and we did end up spawning um in the same area roughly okay it's still doing it but to a lesser effect i don't know shadow distance yeah let me make that ultra and make that low and lighting quality needs to be high. Yeah. Yeah, it's still... It's still doing it. So I'm gonna have to restart again. Yeah, I'm sure you can see that on screen. On, on stream, what I'm talking about. It's pretty. It's pretty bad. <laughs> now that I've noticed it, I can't unnotice it. So I, I'm hoping that putting this the the shadow quality on ultra fixes it. If it doesn't, then I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It's not. It's not like it, I'm gonna stop playing the game because of it. But if I can solve it and make it smoother and look better, then I'm gonna do it now rather than later. Just like turning my field of view up to 120. Everything else has been relatively smooth so far. Like, I understand the Fallout first premium subscription like they have servers that they're running and it's a way for them to get more okay that definitely smoothed it out a little bit yeah that's not nearly as jarring anymore that actually looked way better all right cool and the shadows just generally look smoother at this point and my fps is the same there's no there there was no change in performance. Personally, I don't understand why that setting was on low when I first started the game. Uh I I believe that should be on ultra if it doesn't actually have an impact on performance. Cuz yes, the shadows look way better. My field of view is at 120. It just it feel it just feels better to play already. I still am getting frame stutters. But it's not so extreme that it's unbearable. Uh Reload, reload. Yeah, I heard them and I'm like, yep, something's coming. 
Brahmin corpse. Yeah, so these wolves have been feasting on the meat traps. Alright, which way is the final trap? This way or this way? This way. There is a way to set this as my main quest. Like, I'm pretty sure I can just do right click, make only this active. For that specific reason. Because I was getting confused. There's a quest in that direction. It's like a doghouse. Is there anything in it? Nah. Oh, yes. There is a, a stealth... Uh, stealth system in the game. I forgot about that. I wonder if it's valid to just go full stealth build... I'm having fun just playing like low level stuff. I don't care to jump. It gave me the option in the beginning, which I mean, I, I guess I understand. If someone's already played the game and they just want to get in quick and get to level 20 without having to like grind up again, that's, that's pretty fair. But this being my first time playing, I'm just like, I, I just want to start at level two, whatever. Fresh meat. Yeah, weird. So the rad stags were captured by their traps, but the Brahmin was being eaten by the wolves. <sighs> that was another player, I believe. Yeah, level 20 player. Interesting. So they, they must have started as a level 20. Explore for an hour. We've been playing for an hour. Okay. You want to say you've recovered the meat from our traps. Just what I wanted to hear. On behalf of the responders, I can't thank you enough. You helped us make progress toward a more peaceful world. I sure wish I could say that's all the help I needed, but the work never ends. If you're in the neighborhood again sometime, oh, he's shooting at villagers. They just all got meat. pissed off. Here's your payment. Have a good day now. Nice. I'm exhausted, but the work never ends. Take a break. June handles the supplies if you're looking for provisions. Yeah, these these two guys are are other players. Wait, what was this box again? Oh, uh, this is the stash. Yeah, I can just put all this in here. I I can already feel that we may have sourced some inventory from inventory capacity is definitely going to be a thing. Like it's setting up to be a thing for sure. And yes, in all of the Fallout games, it's absolutely a thing. Like, we are going to run out of inventory space. Oh, I can see other players on the map. I didn't know that. Interesting. Damn, 
Well, then that makes me wonder, like, is there even a PvP system in the game at all? Like, if I can just see other players... Alright, let's go do this then. What other quests do I have? This is how we check our quests, right? So that's, that settlement is a place where we can uh, drop our stuff off. Gilman Lumber Mill. Our stash. What are those? Oh, it just started, it just started emitting radiation when I interacted with it. Dog tags. Interesting. It's steel, it's a source of steel. Garden gnome. Should we just steal all of their crops? This guy doesn't seem to, to need them anymore. We got a red garden gnome and a blue garden gnome. We can collect water from that thing? What's in here? I think this gives steel, right? Tinker's workbench. Scrap items. See, we get steel, right? Scrap junk to produce resources. Ceramic and concrete. We get screws. Steel, oil, nice. So this is where we scrap our junk, which unfortunately doesn't seem to have a storage spot. Oh, the scorched. Interesting. They're like red, irradiated ghouls. Ooh, they shot back at us. Hype revolver. Yes, yeah, scrapping our junk seems very worthwhile. Cat? Oh, there is a cat right there. Cheswick the second. Interesting. Message to Sammy. See, that message gave us a, um, gave us something on the map. Yeah, I don't know where, but it said map updated. What's our current? Visit the Wayward. Yeah, we're here. Oh, no, we're not. We're at Wixen Homestead. <laughs> yeah, 
we get we get different scrap items from those. I think you can scrap the pipe revolvers for steel. Armor workbench. There is an armor workbench in that other area. The lumber, the lumber mill. I need to go this way. This guy is going the same way. Can we team up? Yeah, we'll just team up, dude. We're doing the same thing. Let's go. You're level 20. I'm level 2. <laughs> gonna, gonna get rejected. I think I can press H to stim, right? I can't remember what um, heals our... Oh, interesting. Is this somebody's camp that they made? I think this is like somebody's setup. Interesting. Yeah, the pipe revolvers weigh quite a bit. So I don't want to keep stacking them. Cabrito? I think that's a player. That might be a player. That looks like a player made man. Steal all the corn. Carrot flower. Team only interior. A private area that is unique to your character. Only you and your teammates can be in this interior. Friends and strangers can't join you. Make important story choices that have large consequences. Progress is saved less frequency frequently when in a solo interior. Be sure your quest has been checkpointed before leaving. Interesting. I don't know if they actually teamed up with us, if that guy teamed up with us. But yes, this loads a separate instance. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey, who the hell are you? Batter? None of your damn business. What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big treasure is and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Um. Yeah, I don't have the charisma or luck. Treasure's our crew's business, not yours. And unless I start getting answers right now, I'm gonna start shooting people. Hmm. Hiring? You serious? <laughs> you got a gun in your face, and the first thing that comes to mind is picking up a side gig? Hmm. Guts like that might take you places. Let's say you and I finish shaking down this bra. Oh, rip. I told you it was going to end badly. <laughs> now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. Ended up getting Fresh shot anyway. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. 
He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream She doesn't of mind at all that I asked him if I could join their crew. <laughs> Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Uh... What other options are there? Damn, that's a lot of options. Only that they want something from Crane, but I think we could use that to our advantage. That is, if you're doing this job for me. Mm. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Charisma one minus? <laughs> Mail invitations? Oh, darling. Um, <laughs> see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tack. Just give me one second. I love choosing the janky dialogue just to see what happens. I just want you to know, architecture. Weird how she like walked rotated. backwards and then like rotated huh. around. <laughs> Not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it. Use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Mm. Ah, damn. Okay, okay, let's see. New plan. We paint all the Brahmin. And then we... <laughs> Purchase. Plan's fine. I can walk them through how to build it. How's that exactly? We paint all the bronze. I've been down for quite some time waiting for this headless monster thing to clear off on my last ammo hunt. Ended up reading some old training materials past time. Mort. Guess what? Made some tapes on it. Oh, Mort. Not the tapes. You have a better option? Not one that doesn't involve painting all my cattle. <laughs> there you go, I suppose. You can talk to Mort. Of course, you're going to need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now... Maybe. Ready to get this show Maybe I'll road? learn something. Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. But I have. We did find her. another My overseer just that was dead. The road that it but she left was that not the same dwellers, overseer? Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back. Was that an overseer last. in the cabin? Just make sure once you find I out can't where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. 
cool. Uh, we can trade with them? Interesting. I wonder if I should scrap these. I'll sell them. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not actually gonna use any of those. Everything else I kind of want to hold on to. Alright, we gotta talk to Mort. Crazy. No, that is just crazy. They hand you vault kitties, all this fancy equipment, and then just throw you to the wolves. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Allergies. Learn the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on Yeah, the... Now you see. I drove secure. The ghouls I'm coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble and then quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind. And it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back, and then bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin. And any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools. Not the most flattering name, but still, beats being vaporized. Yeah, the ghouls were there when the bombs dropped. I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saved. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Ser seriously? Nothing? <laughs> Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. All right, we've got a... Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament but if i'm gonna help you i want something in return all right listen i got this plan i assume they're gonna, gonna teach us like how to build a base See, and stuff the folks who made it big off the gold rush they weren't the prospectors they were the folks that sold them their shovels now i don't do shovels what i collect is knowledge I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes and you're going to test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. You will. Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. <laughs> Just come back once you've taken it is kind of subscribe curious how there they didn't teach us about the camps about? they kind of just gave them the gave us the camps some other time then yeah all right we good listen to overseers log camp uh is that item hollow camp log Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated uh, I will be right back. Haywire boss and... No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. 
See this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer. Signing off. All right, I'm back. That's funny that they, if you just keep it open for a while, they like hit it. They hit the pit boy. All right, we got to craft a weapon, craft a piece of armor and search for traces. What is that? You see, that's a player camp. Cloudy Monet. Right, we're we're good here. Yeah, and supposedly you have to be careful in those instances 
because like if your game crashes or you log out or something you'll have to play through the whole thing what just happened right now is it saved that state right Is it difficult to team up? These are live Brahmin. Oh, they're so gross looking. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. How do I place markers? I gotta craft a weapon, dude. Stuff. Syringer? Interesting. The pipe bolt action pistol seems like it's the most ammo efficient if it hurts the most. So let's try and make one of these. Nice. Alright, so we crafted a weapon. That's the one we just crafted. When did we get a laser pistol? Interesting. Level five? Leather right leg. Oh, I can't press. All right, we did right leg. Now let's do left leg. Right arm. I'm running out of leather. Left arm. All right, let's equip that now. Item. Apparel armor. Yeah, now we have the level five. Yeah, we just upgraded. All right, and I should be able to scrap all of the stuff that I'm not wearing. We're gonna want to use the pi uh, bolt the bolt action pist pistol. Yeah. I don't know what to do with these, but they're valuable. I don't know if I want to break them apart. They're pretty valuable. 50 caps is pretty decent. Oh, that was a lot of stuff in there. Store all junk. This is good uh, for HP. Fusion cells. Yeah, I can't get too bogged down by the crafting stuff just yet. I just wanted to craft some stuff. Now, my question is... How do I... There we go. I only have six rounds for this thing. Can I make ammo here? Uh, pipe guns. 
No, I don't see ammo. Oh, Overseer's Cash. Small backpack. Nice. Wait, can I craft that here? No. Huh. Yeah, I think I think I'm good. Yeah, let's scrap this. And then we I think we learned the recipe by scrapping it. All right. Cool. Why is my name anchored north? I just want to trade to see if, like, there's a thing we get for trading. Why do they have three pistols? Weird. I think this is their inventory and then this is mine, right? How do I just give them the stuff? Huh. But I thought I scrapped these. What? I thought I I thought I scrapped these. Scrap items. Inventory. Okay. Yeah, let's scrap all these. Do not scrap that one. Scrap that one. There we go. Okay. Nice. I don't know. Oh, there's a level. I forgot to level up. You've reached level five. Disable pacifist mode in game settings to enable player combat. Okay. So there is player combat. You have an unopened perk pack. Yes, open it. Interesting. How do you get a one-armed moron out of a tree? Wave. Okay. How do I get iron fist? Um... Allows you to share higher point perks. Group quests and price when you barter. Huh. Carry capacity. It allows you to share higher point perks and also affects your rewards from group quests and prices when you barter. Okay. Hack terminals, condition durability, crafted items, experience gain. Oh, and experience gain. Oh, we might go with int. Finesse, 
Yes, VATS is what I was thinking about earlier. VATS is when you, like, pause time to automatically hit certain weak points. And sneak ability. There is sneaking. But I imagine... Well, I don't know how that would work in PvP. Luck? Recharge rate of crits? Condition and durability of items that you loot? Um... It doesn't say necessarily the quality of items you loot, though. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check out in. Stimpaks which soar 15% more. That's fair. Um, there was that other, like, special perk. I think it was strength, right? Iron Fist? Punching attacks? These are these are all S tier. One-handed melee weapons. Weights of all chems, including Simpacks, are reduced. Weight reduction is massive. So I'm gonna take that. Oh. Wait, can I only choose one at a time? I'm I'm confused now. So pick a perk. Owned one. Accept. You may use one duplicate card duplicate card to rank up this card. Okay, accept. Okay, we just, we ranked up that perk card. Um, are these the one that, ones that are equipped? Space, equip. Okay, there we go. All right, and then we wanted first aid. Yes. Scrounger. Serendipity. I do like ammo. Oh, okay, so we can only have one in that slot in luck while 30 percent below 30 percent gain a 50 15 percent chance to avoid damage okay no power armor and then we can't use this for some reason it just says locked dead man sprinting sprint 10 percent faster at increased ap cost when your health is below 40 okay so that's like you you go into berserk mode basically so i'm gonna scrap it because I can't use it. I'm going to hold on to Iron Fist, though. Alright, are we good here? I, I think we're good now, right? T is for perks. These are the perks we currently have. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Any type of weight reduction is very good, in my opinion. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, getting acquainted with the perk system and all that, it's it's an, it's a lot to I've played previous Fallout games obviously, but I should join up. Yeah. Fight just beginning. Do some good Make a difference. Brotherhood. These are brotherhood guys. We need to understand the past as well, or we'll make the same mistakes going forward. Interesting. Got a pump action. Sweet. Mr. Farmhand. Yeah, we're, we're going in the right direction now. It just took a while. Like, I had to, I had to craft this stuff. I had to check out my perks. It's all... It's all a part of it.
Can I get inside of this? No, I don't think so. Yeah, there's soot flower about just about everywhere I look, so I'm not gonna bother looting all of them unless I need them for like a crafting recipe. Session notes. Oh. Sunny makes a good hokey. What is that? Upstairs? Foundation might be coming along, but we got a lot more work to do. Am I where I need to be? Yeah. Search for traces of the overseer. Hmm. I know a guy who could fix that. There's always one thing that like kind of doesn't make sense to me in Fallout games. Is like after all these years, would this stuff still be, like, just laying around? I mean, obviously it makes for the game, right? Um, am, am I not in the right place? No, I'm not in the right place. Like, having all the loot around is, is a core part of the game, and I, I like it. But it does make me question, like, you know. Wouldn't people have stolen this by now? Or maybe they did steal it and they placed it here. Donations box. In the church. Here's another log. log. Town of Flatwoods. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. They had these green, glowing leaves. And his voice, angry, tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, Emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. Overseer signing off. Yeah, the um the dialogue is a little bit low. That overseer lady said more people would be coming. It's nice to meet you. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of want to scrap all this stuff. I don't want to sell it. It sure is great to see living human beings 
again. I think I'm gonna hold on to the pump action. Yeah, chemistry station, diagnostic terminal. Speak with Dasa Ben Ami. Wait, it said eject hollow tape. Interesting. Yeah, we have to register as a volunteer. Yeah, here we can scrap items. Yeah, I, I'd prefer scrapping it. That way we can get materials and then the materials we can use to craft stuff. Freaking rad roach. It's the first one I've seen of that. Oh, that's a very tight... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with two heads, all of it. I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and I put glue in the mashed <laughs> potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles, and uh, I put Nuka-Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store, and, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. <laughs> oh, sh- Because <laughs> my dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. Oh, that's messed up. I haven't seen Daddy since the bombs, and I, I guess he left because of that, too. It's okay. I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm, I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I can help collect food and water, so I'm getting better, I promise. And, um, Daddy, if you're listening, I, I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back. Sweet. We have joined the volunteers. Uh, report to responder Kesha McDermott. jukebox paramedic jumpsuit interesting does that just go over our regular jumpsuit what I guess so, yeah. I bet this town was really nice before the war. Are you here for the responder training? 
Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? Indeed. I keep hearing about it. I've even met some people who say they came from there. And honestly, I believe them. It's so interesting. People living underground for years, and then the doors open, and suddenly there's this whole new world to explore. So, did I guess right? Yes. I knew it! I could tell just by looking at you. I've always thought that life in a vault must be so amazing, with the robots and all the machines and having everything you need every day. Best of all, you're safe, which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. Though I guess you're one of us now, so that's all in the past for you. Oh, it's strength uh, plus four. Yeah, but that's like, do we want to uh, freaking threaten them? Go right ahead. I don't really feel like threatening someone who's been pretty chill. Me? There's not much to tell, really. I came in with Paige and the rest and stayed up at Foundation for a while. It was nice. But eventually I wanted to go my own way, you know? Get out and see some places I've never seen, figure out who I am. When I heard the message on the radio about Flatwoods, I was curious to meet the responder, so I made my way here. I decided to stay here and see what else I could learn. That's pretty much my story. Cool. Okay, what is it? Yeah, there's a couple of places around here that qualify as interesting. At least to me. The Agricultural Research Center is infested with feral ghouls and homicidal robots. But you can find some good scrap in there if you're up to it. The New River Gorge Resort to the east is the same story. Maybe, minus the robots. Sweet. No problem. Chloe. Sending alert to Miguel. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah. I just wanted to check that quickly. There's a lot of reading. Gold fork? Okay. Search for her location in the system. Ah. Did I check this? Oh, yeah. Responders, help! please. Someone, please help me! Please let me out! Please! Please! They got stuck in I'm the refrigerator. Um, it said, search for her yeah. location in the system. Yeah. That's another player. 
<laughs> I wonder if they loot something. Like, if I loot something, can they pick it up still? Retrieve the water testing kit. It says that's right here, right where he's standing. Oh. Oh, they're dead. Okay. Dasa oh, has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. Seems like a fine idea. So, hi. I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. The water is radioactive? After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods, it was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but... Slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science. What? Unyielding raider right leg? What is that? Is that like a player that died or something? Oh boy. Seems like everything's, it's just the farm hands pretty much, right? Or 
that's where I was just inside in. Yeah. says test a sample of water from the water pumps. Okay. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I need to be searching this place in and out. Maybe. Chemistry station. Let me describe my items. Yeah, scrap all junk. There we go. Boom. Nice. How much does this hurt? 45? That's pretty good. Use that instead. That's that's another exit right there. Yeah, I think I think we're done here, right? Didn't seem like there was much here. New casual team create. Control tab, bonus intelligence. Okay. Didn't know you could do that. Like mass invite the whole server. May as well join it if we get bonus in for doing it. Oh, my FPS got really smooth for a second. And then it went back down. These are the guys I heard before. Oops. Chess piece? No thanks. Yeah, my capacity is starting to fill up. Interesting. Alright, I think I think we're good. Yeah, this thing feels very ammo efficient. on this side. Frag grenade? What's that noise? 
right, we didn't go, we did not go upstairs. So let's check upstairs. Yeah, those footsteps we were hearing when we first got in here. Uh, were from the basement. No connection. All right, we've already looted this area, yep. Eh, it was, we got a frag grenade. That's kind of cool. Wasn't a bad location, kind of sparse though. so inaccurate. very ammo efficient if we uh what is that legendary cultist what i'm not ready for that legendary cultist how do i throw frag grenades I can't even get a shot off on them. What happens if we die? How do I get on top of it? Oh, here's the... I'm gonna try to take them out. Pistol, 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 pistol. Never Is it going to be much more efficient? We're about half HP now. I have so much ammo. They're a bullet sponge. They died. We leveled up. <laughs> they were a freaking bullet sponge. Cultist High Priest Pack. Assassin's Pipe Pistol. Interesting. Damage resist while reloading. 50% damage to humans. That does not, that, that is not good. That only does 13 damage. The one we crafted does 40 damage. 
Yeah. And this does 45 damage. Should have thrown a freaking grenade at him. I still don't know how to throw a grenade though. All right, what do we have to do? Test a sample of water from water pumps. Okay. Um, where is there a water pump? Surge of All Tech Agricultural Research Center. There must be something we missed when we were in there. From Flatwoods Water Pumps. Where's Flatwood? Okay, this way. Yeah, there must have been something we we missed. If it's telling us we still need to search it. Oh, death claw hide. Interesting. heard a ghoul and I don't see it. Yeah, that's a player firing over there. We tested a sample of the water and we need to analyze the water testing kit's results in their lab. Kind of like the music. The music is actually not bad at all. All right, we gotta go back north this way. Has not significantly improved. And I felt myself fall into the ground. I didn't even have a lot to drink. I woke up and I saw some little thing run into the bushes with my dog following it. So it went from fatal, extreme to severe to serious. So green skin in his mouth. Green. It's gotten better. The bombs fell almost ten days later. Nine days, nineteen hours to be exact. That's 235 hours precisely. You know what that is, right? That's right. The atomic number of the fissile isotope of uranium. <laughs> they had a plan from the very beginning. Why would they come after me first? Scott Shepard, the nurse. Good question. I'm glad you asked. They have our blood. They knew. Once of us would survive. 
five. This is one big experiment to them. This whole thing was staged. Our lives, our thoughts, everything was designed for us. Just like this conversation. Every word I'm saying. Planned. Time to wake up, Appalachia. Find the ones holding the strings and cut the cords. Delbert Winters? Alright. <laughs> that, like, it was aliens. It's pretty funny. Anything we can't explain? Aliens. Um... Yeah, to, to the south. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. It's a little bit fetchy. Like, I, I feel like I'm... I, I'm keeping up with this story. Like, she was testing the water, worked for the volunteers, died. We finished her experiment as a volunteer. Pretty much, like, everyone, everyone died. That Heather woman that we spoke to earlier, I think her name was... Like, why do they seem so calm about shit when, like, both of these people are dead? Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and, uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin till the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened... I figured, like most, it was time. This was the end, but but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake that we was missed, forgotten. Cook a ribeye. Maybe we did some wrong. All right, let's do it. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how. Yeah, it's teaching us the Why? different systems in the game. I fought your wars point. on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind a dumpster. Uh, you gotta cook that first, I warned them. My... Seemed obvious. We tried, but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens. Get a piece of brahmin meat. Food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. I think, didn't we pick one up before? <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. Until then, let's share a home cooked meal together, all right? What was this over here? Wasn't there something over here? Huh. Is this thing on? Yeah, they're all dead. Like, hey. all of these people are dead. Hello, survivors of this garbage dump. I'm Sophie, and this is my stupid survivor story. Weapons workbench? This dump shit go. Oh, yeah. Scrap all dump. Before the bombs, I was a librarian. Oh. And We're going to have to get to our... All the time. Whee! We're going to have to get me. to our stash. I'm lucky. Wait, no, no. Maybe it was one of those farmers who prepared for the end. Yeah, Heather, she's like the last surviving one, and she seemed like very yeah. calm yeah, about the right. fact that like everyone just no. died. No, I, I got it. It's a little bit concerning. I was a sweet little kid and lived off some cat food containers in a super duper mart for months near my parents' rotting carcasses. Nice. Nobody came. These do give rads the the ribeye sake. I learned how to deal. 
You should too. We need something that reduces rats, and I'm pretty sure you do Nobody that with helps anybody anymore. Get a grip. rat away. If you're not a total idiot, you'll get out of this dump before the rat responders resist. get killed. Rat away. Remove 300 rats. Better off. Trust me. Whiny babies can stay here and play make believe, but anyone with half a brain will go up to the mountains and drop the dead weight. Delbert yeah, already we tried to stop me. Sorry to say nobody will be around. I don't know how to change my name. It says Anchored Nord. Bye, suckers. Love always, Sophie. So I, I assume they all died because of the poison water, or that's kind of like what it's hinting towards. Contact the responders using the database. Yeah, Colonel, we already... heard their story. Um. Golly Mine Recon. What is this? Huh. There is a stash right there. Contact responders HQ. Morgantown Airport. Huh. Uh, no, this is Overseer's Cache. Yeah, we need to get to our stash. Oh, nice. We got a bunch of rewards. I need to level up as well. I have two level up. You hear about this soap addict? He's clean now. Oh, that's not bad. I think the one we have, the stim packs restore more health. Yeah, we can stack that, right? Yeah, there we go. So stim packs are much more effective. They're, that's probably not the best thing Reduce chance to cause disease. I think this is better. Let's equip that. Oh, nice. Reap twice as much. Sure. We still don't have a charisma card. Perk coins. Perk coins are used to rank up legendary I bet this perk This town cards. was really nice before the war. Okay. Yeah, I'm still like wrapping my head around this system right now. 
Didn't I have two level ups? I thought I had two level ups. Yeah, we're strength and int right now. But I imagine there are some cards that are way better than others. We still need a charisma card. But yes, we have completed the quests in this area. Should we search this again? Let's go let's go back in here. While we're here, we may as well. We killed that legendary cultist and looted all of their shit. Events or public quests? All responders. Well, Mr. Phone hands are out of control. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Kill farmhand supervisor? I probably... That's what it says to do, right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The farmhands as well. The other one didn't shoot at us. Settlers were fighting them. Somebody I didn't get there. the kill. Oh, damn it, they stole my kill. Showtime. Small ant? That's a small ant? Dude, I'm, I'm switching to the. Yeah. Nice. Fusion song. So close. Stop messing around. I'm sore all over. Building this place up is hard work. Don't like Can the I fog. Loot everything you just a mist makes it harder to see. We really need to clean up around here. Like a single cap. Shotgun shell. Rad bear. Clean up this. Fix that. It never seems to end. All right. We need to kill more. Oh, we did get a kill. I think if our teammates kill one, do we get crest, uh, credit for it? If the people we're in a party with kill one, I think we get credit. I like events like that. Like world events are, are a cool idea. Yeah, we need to uh, search Vault Tech Agricultural Research Center, which is where we currently are. A oh, rad axe, nice. Oh, there's so much loot everywhere.
Oh, here. We missed it. Wow. Uh, shit. Yeah, we missed this last time. change farmhands targeting patterns interesting this game has me like it, it definitely has my attention right now um i'm not hating it it feels a lot like fallout 4 Feels a lot like Fallout 4. Um, in in a good way. Not necessarily in a bad way. Alright, where do we need to go? Change farmhands targeting frames. Oh, do I have to do that inside here? Stairs were somewhere back here, right? That's the outside. Um, no, that's the outside as well. We don't want that. I think we have to go up here. And then the stairwell is in the back to get to the basement. Yeah, here. Yeah, so we were, we were here before. We just didn't do the thing. I think that's one floor lower, yeah. Yeah, we had even used this before. And we were just like, oh, it's locked. Here we go. Remove human class from target list. Homo sapiens removed from active target list. Have a nice day. We did it. We did it. Meat pile? Last time, last time there were ghouls down there. Yeah, I imagine you can't just keep like exiting and rejoining to like get loot over and over again. I imagine the developers had to be very careful with how they balanced the rate at which certain areas respawn their loot. Because if you make it take too long, then players are going to be pissed about never finding any loot. And if you make it too fast, then you're going to allow players to just continuously farm the same location over and over again. All right. Read the plan. Uh, crane treasure hunting sign. All 
All right, we cra crafting item unlocked. Build a weapons workbench at your camp to scrap items. Okay. Do I still have my camp? I think I may have put my camp in my stash. Yeah, I think I did do that. Um, yeah, there's another world event. I think I'm gonna fast travel back up here. It says we need to investigate the airport, which is all the way up here. So we're gonna have to go back this way anyway. One cap to fast travel is fine. gonna need to access my stash which I believe I can access over here and then I need to get my What would I have done with it? Where did I put it? I didn't accidentally scrap it. I don't think the game would have let me done that. Do that. Huh. Or it's edgy tape. Oh, wait, oh, wait. They think it's hot. It's... Hello? <clears throat> Hello. This is Mort McCoy. And welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's edgy tapes. Right leg. Today we're talking about your camp. This is more raw now, armor. Former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident. Let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp. C A M P. Press Z when you're in the wilderness. For the first okay. time, remember to. I'm gonna place it over here. Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility, and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> details. Damn, I had to get that one. You don't look close enough. An eye enough. for details are a must. It says press Z when I'm in the wilderness. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's education. I had it in my inventory, so and now I don't know what happened to it. Come on, Mort, what was that? Um, the last time I remember having it was here. So I'm going to fast travel over here. It's gonna be like a, a quest in itself to figure out what I did with the fucking camp. <laughs> yeah, it said press Z. And when I press Z, I get nothing. Yeah, the last time I had my camp was here.
primary directive. All trees must become desirable wood products. I'm exhausted, but the work never ends. Hope the refuge is holding up without me. Do I really need this jumpsuit underneath the responder suit? I don't think so. Lumber check. Protectron cuts down trees, but does Damn, not we're require I can't bear to see another front lavatory facilities. Yeah, I I don't know. I remember having it and now I don't have it. They're like um It said G Z and I still can't place it. The thing is, do I do I need to place do I need to have it in my inventory to place it? Jack Protectron equals desirable wood product. Ugh, need to brush up on my first aid. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm gonna head in this direction. to see if we can place it. I hope those raiders know that we have no harm. All right, I've checked my inventory like three yeah. times now. I what definitely don't have it in my inventory. Why does the water look like that? It's like wine bottles. Yeah, I don't know. I, I looked it up. Um, Yeah, again, I, I don't know. When I press Z, nothing happens. I remember picking it up. I don't remember ever dropping it. Unless it counted as junk. Yeah, I've checked my I've checked my inventory enough. I think the plans we can Oh, I'm very full. I needed to Oh, this is the cultist high priest pack. Weird. I don't even know what that does. Yeah, recipes and plans. There we go. All 
right, I do want to place stuff in my storage. But yeah, I don't know where my camp is, so I don't think we're going to do that. I don't know if the airport's gonna have another stash, but I'm, I took out like all of the stuff for my stash. Yeah, I definitely did not scrap my camp. Glad we got those bots up and running. Fixing this all by hand would be a nightmare. <sighs> Let us know if you find Hardcore something to need out there. Off. Yeah, it would probably show up right there, right? What was this? Who goes there? There's something we didn't listen to before. This thing. Welcome back, dear listeners. It's time once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own, where myth, legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling Tales from the West Virginia Hills. Tonight's episode, Who Goes There? A Strange Encounter in Flatwoods, is brought to you by Sugar Bombs, the breakfast cereal with explosive great taste and 100% of the recommended daily allowance of sugar. Get your morning started right with Sugar Bombs. Our tale begins on a fateful night when a young pioneer scout, Red Fisher, finds himself Score in rank? quite a predicament. Dude, there's so much going on in this game. I'm just like, I... <laughs> to a dark place. Yeah. Where am I? Jack? Biff? Mr. Bailey? Can anybody hear me? I can hear you. Who's there? I, I can't see you. Me? My name's Sally. What's yours? Fred. Are you okay, Fred? I think so. My head's a little woozy. Oh, I, I need to... Oh, no. Did you I need to press you? Z while I'm in the pit well, boy. That's sure. why. What I mean is... That okay. I was camping with See, I was just pressing the Z. There were these lights kind of dancing in the sky. Neat. I guess. Anyway. We heard some weird noises, and the guy's double dog dared me to go look, so I did. All by yourself? You're really brave. Shucks. Thanks. I followed the noises to an entrance of an old mine. It smelled awful there, like rotten eggs, but worse. Suddenly, there was this bright light shining down on me. <laughs> I was super scared and ran to the mine to hide, um... but everything felt strange. Like, my feet weren't even touching the ground. Everything went black, and I woke up here in the dark. That'll happen to me, too. We'll just do what my dad says. When you stray to lost your foot, do it best and stay put. They said they'd bring him soon. There are other people here? A very good question, indeed. Tune in next time to How do find I... out the answer in the chilling conclusion uh, of Who Goes There? The strange this is a chemistry station. Boards. They wanted me to build a. They, what did they want me to build? Build a weapons workbench. How do I build a weapons workbench? Craft it. Here we go. Alright. 
build the crane treasure hunting ink sign at your camp. Uh, would it be walls? Oh, it is. There we Broadcast go. Broadcast tape issued. Please deposit data tape into any relay system terminal. Target marked. Load broadcast tape into a radio tower. Um, into a radio tower? Load broadcast tape into a radio tower. Okay, we need to go this way. Yeah, I'm glad I figured that out. It, there are a lot of there's there's a good amount to learn. That's all. I was thinking I dropped my camp, but thankfully the developers did not do that. Oh, they all just left. Wait, wasn't it like control shift or something? Oh, that is alt. It is alt to throw a grenade. Control tab. Yeah, so there's a casual team and an expedition team. Interesting. Yeah, so we learned how to throw a grenade. Yeah, this game has been feeling pretty decent. It, it it gives me it brings back the Fallout 4 vibes when I played Fallout 4 years ago. Um is it worth it 80% off? I I think so. I think so. I I feel like I could get 10 hours of enjoyment at least from this game. Now, do I care to get like heavily invested and like unlock all of the content and do absolutely everything this game has to offer? No, not really. What is that? It's just a rad stag. So for it being free right now, like I'm, I'm enjoying it pretty, pretty decently. I'm getting, I'm getting a decent amount of enjoyment from it. Um, Would I say it's worth full price? No, definitely not. The game would have to do more for me. The fact that I've already played through... Played through Fallout 4. Oh, 
Oh shit. guy helped us. I, I would not say this is worth full price and also the fact that it has a... subscription, premium subscription in a game that costs money up front um, is why is part of the reason why now if it were free to play then maybe what am i meant to do load hollow tape right Load broadcast tape. Okay, there we go. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast calls. If it were free Attention to play. All consumers. New business established. Please seek out. Pray. Treasure hunting. And there was the premium uh, fallout first or whatever. Then I. I, it would be Broadcast tough. Complete. It would be hard for me to either recommend it or re recommend for it or against it. Because if you really enjoy the game and it's free and it's an MMO, the developers need to make money somehow. And if they're willing to give you extra content, if they're willing to give you like a very bare bones MMO experience for free, and then they give you a ton of content for subscribing monthly, then I would recommend it. But that doesn't necessarily feel like the case, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, it just, it doesn't necessarily feel like the case. I think someone who really enjoyed Fallout 4 would find enjoyment in this. But this is just coming from my first, what, like three hours of gameplay? I don't know what the expeditions are like or anything. Um... <clears throat> yeah. And there's some like graphical visual issues. Render distance issues like if we're being honest, the the engine, this engine was good for a single player game. It does it fe it really does feel like a game engine that was developed for a single player game that was forced into working for a multiplayer game. Like they would have been better off taking another year or two developing like working with a, a more a newer game engine. Um, rather than working with this same engine that they made Fallout 4 with. And that's that's part of the downside. Like, the performance isn't great. I'll be honest. I'm running a 3070 Ti. A game that came out, like, what, four or five years ago should not be struggling this badly. That's just poor optimization.
Whoa, you're not Crane. What the hell's going on here? Crane found the treasure. Holy shit. Where is he? The wayward, huh? He might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. Wait. Aren't I supposed I to figure out real cranes all right? Crane! Come out, come out wherever you are. You crane? This it? Thought you were some kind of big shot. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Who is that other guy then? What? Scout's honor. Uh, we'll go with the strength. Yeah, tell me where your hideout is. You know what? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> fine, fine. We, we took over the old West Virginia Lumber Company in the Northwest. C come on. Let's get out of here. Free radical. Interesting. So yeah, this this quest taught us to set up our our camp so we can scrap items and stuff. Yeah, having different weapons that use different ammo seems like a good idea. But I, I will say, like, I've been enjoying it, but it feels there's like it, it feels like there's this lack of core value. I don't know how to I don't know how to put it. Um, The combat is similar to Fallout 4. It, it just it just feels like a lot like Fallout 4. But it's not it, it doesn't even this game doesn't even feel like an MMO. It feels like I'm playing Fallout 4 and there just happen to be other players in the same world. But then again, I'm only 3 hours into the game, right? Like, there are expeditions. There are ways to, like, party up with people. There are world events. But the fact that there can only be, like, 24 players on a server, I, I, don't, I don't classify that as an MMO. For a game to be an MMO, you need over 100 players on a server. That's my firm belief. It's called Massive Multiplayer Online. This is just like, this feels like Fallout 4 multiplayer. Where like, if you really wanted to, you could play Fallout 4 with your friend, right? So I'm not hating the game, but I'm also not liking it. That's <laughs> that's kind of the the hard part. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to. Wait, wait West. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. 
You've seen those. And it's not that I'm not liking this, this game. game. It's just that it, it doesn't have mill. like that just, the these drive. Guys might be you know, tougher than it's okay. It's hmm. okay. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside. Maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this like, it would be okay for someone who sure really, really likes Fallout 4. There was also this, uh, let's say, and, and wanted special more. scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill, but probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are, yeah, I think this there, is the like well, main they probably managed story to work quest. Something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out. What Given it was. that it gets us to build our camp and all that. Well, that's a good thing, because that's all. If you haven't already explored up that way. The fastest route back would be via Vault 76. And, and take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. Um. Fast travel. You can press E on it. So, yeah, it's all right. We can't go back in after we come out. The wayward. Yeah, it, that volunteers quest line that we did earlier uh, down here at Flatwoods it was kind of it was kind of weird. It was just like everyone just died, and we were like. One of the only volunteers other than Heather, who basically spoke to us as though like nothing, nothing was wrong. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. Weird, weird quest line. Yeah, it's saying these are optional, but isn't this the main quest? Oh, we got we we're gonna go and kill the gang leader. These are the people that have been bothering the the wayward about some type of treasure. But yeah, the volunteers quest line. I was hoping that there would be like some type of repeatable. Or, you know, some cool quest giver there. And it just like, it was like, no, the person you found is dead. The first person you find is dead. The second person you find is dead. And then there's Heather. Um, who doesn't really, it, she doesn't give you any quests. She doesn't really have too much dialogue. Like, that character would have been perfect as, like, a repeatable quest giver or something. It just, like, it feels like it's lacking opportunities to, like, draw me in more. It's missing, it's missing opportunities. Clean up this, fix that. Never seems to end. Here's another At least it's outpost. Nice out, right? Settlers. You need <sighs> something? It's hard work making a living out here. True sad. Clean up this, fix that. It never seems to end.
Yeah. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. And I feel like, this, if I'm being brutally honest, a pickaxe. Um. I feel like the main driver of this game right now, for me personally, is. Looting. That's a cool settlement. Um, it's the map environment. It's like very, it's got a very good like Skyrim vibe in terms of the environment. Um, and then the looting. Those are like the two main drivers. I, I am enjoying the story to an extent. But as I said previously, oh boy, we're gonna get bee swarmed. Um, as I said previously, some of the side quests, it feels like there, there's some missed opportunities. Um, and when there are too many of those, it starts feeling empty, you know? Like, it feels like there's nothing to do. Uh, and you don't want that. That's like the last thing you want in an MMO. The thing you want in an MMO, which Warframe almost does too well almost for instance warframe um which warframe i do consider an mmo but i i, I take back what i said before about requiring 100 players per server the thing is you can have an mmo that's instanced right like i almost consider hell divers to be an mmo but not really plenty of unclaimed space up the road the thing that makes Maybe Warframe an MMO is like there's certain hubs where you can be around a bunch of other players and stuff. Um, like Maru's Bazaar. West Virginia. Um, no, don't know anything about them. Now I'd like you to. Leave. What I'm initially trying to get across is the fact that Warframe makes you feel like there's always something to do, to to the point where it feels overwhelming almost. I'm just going to go with strength. No, 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 no. Look, we worked out a deal with them. Supplies for protection. We can work out one with you. What do you want to know? Once a month, food, ammo, scrap. All right, we got their passer. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. I love how he tells us to beat it. Treasure. After we just but trouble. successfully we threatened to him to give us the information. Ones. So much for that. Like, would you talk to someone that you just confessed like information? Fine. Plenty. A dozen minimum. Bunch of cons from back east. They don't know how to farm or hunt. You you do that. Maybe I can see having a little something set aside for you. Then by all. Just like everyone else. Yeah, new to the area. Trying to let you know you're trespassing. Yeah, so he's not happy that Bye. we're here. Whoa. Is that yeah, that's fair. So these are like uh, farmers. Oh, here's a whole bunch of crafting stuff. Is there a storage thing? This would be a perfect spot for a storage crate. Nope. I don't see one. Yeah, I assume that storage is only in 
certain locations. I, I guess. I guess I could put my camp down, maybe? Water purifier. Industrial. Huh. Yeah, being able to purify water seems pretty valuable. Which way am I running? I keep pressing tab to open the map. I need to stop doing that. But yeah, when this game first came out, it was very poorly optimized. Um, even now, I'm only getting 70 FPS with a 3070 Ti years later. Um, so I, I'm glad that they've optimized it. Because from what I heard when it first came out, it was much more, much worse. Damn. Oh my god, I just got hit directly with that grenade. So now we find out what happens when we die. Can I just respawn here? Um. Yeah, we can respawn at the farm. Wait, can I respawn here? No, I can't. I can press E and then respawn at the front. And it costs us one cap. I don't know if we lose anything. Yeah, it seems like we have all of our all of our gear. Do I have any purified water? Here. Food and water are something you need to keep up. Oh, that's a, this is a player's, oh, I can use their sash, nice. I really should melt that down. Can I do that right now? It's getting annoying. Grab. Do I need the pickaxe and axe? I don't think so. Right? Yeah, those are two different ammo types. Where is that weapon though? I keep seeing it in my inventory. This thing. Where do I scrap that? Yeah, see, I don't see a way to scrap it. Yeah, I, I don't know. do cultist high priest pack priest loot i don't know what that does i don't need all of this stuff in my inventory
Alright. Needs, spoiled vegetables needs to just like can I just drop what is that miss cure uh, drop R yes yeah that was taking up a ton of space all right I think we're good yeah I don't know what we lose by dying. Um, I don't know if we lose experience or something. Where is over this way here? Yeah, there's a big skull on the HUD. Yeah, right before we died, we threw a grenade. We did, we did drop some stuff, not all of our stuff. Snub nose 44. Ah! Raider scum. Um, okay. They're called Raider Scum. It's probably the right thing to do to take them out. We don't look out. Yeah. I thought there was a guy back here. Oh, the Tinker's workbench. Forty damage. Um, the forty-four is an ammo type that I don't think we have. We have anything else for right now. Right. And we can repair this too. The snub nuts. Yeah. Short hunting rifle. Um, might be good too. 45 damage. Yeah, I may use that instead. Of this, they both use 308. Yeah, scrap that. Cool. Alright, anything else here? I think that was pretty much it. That wasn't even the location that we need to go and kill them. Junk pile? Harvest? Jangles the moon monkey? What is that? We get... Can I just keep... I can harvest it multiple times. We can just go back here, scrap items, scrap all junk, except There we go. More crafting materials. Yeah, that's that's one thing. If this game ran really well and was really well optimized and had a good... Like, I can see in the distance the draw distance, you know? Like, I can see things rendering in. Like, that never looks good. Never. Uh, I could increase my draw distance, but I, I assume it would drop my frames below 60. 
which I don't want to experience. Reload time isn't too bad. <laughs> These guys actually don't hurt that much. That nade straight to the face hurt a lot last time. Well, it killed my character instantly. You're dead! <laughs> is like a fair Us. damn i'm level 10 already uh i probably should level up Do we have anything for charisma yet? Yes. When adventuring alone, take 10% less damage. Oh, interesting. I think, don't we have this maxed out? Yeah, owned max rank. We don't own this one. We don't own hacker. I'll go for charisma. For each teammate, excluding you. Oh, there's a revival system? Interesting. Buying and selling prices at non-player vendors are better. Gain 5% more XP if you're on a team. That's pretty good, just a flat 5%. I'm gonna take that one, yeah. Because if there's always a casual team going, then... Do I care about weight weights of chems? Kinda. Wait, what? What am I meant to do? Unused strength? Yeah. Yeah, the weights of chems. Uh... You know, in the beginning, I was like, you know, carrying weight, carrying capacity is really good. I haven't seen anything better. And honestly, it doesn't seem to take too much effort to rank these up. So whatever, we're good, right? Uh, let me... Move my camp. Just so if I die, I have a place to respawn. Because I, I suspect I'm not going to be able to respawn over here. Yeah. 
I think getting hit with that nade directly was a little bit of a bad luck situation. I like this 44. It fires slower, but way more ammo efficient if I hit my shots. Ten millimeter pistol plus? Interesting. Uh it doesn't show a plus here. I'm gonna try and use the hunting rifle, see if I like it more. <laughs> Amusement park worker outfit? <laughs> I look ridiculous. That's great. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What? Ammunition vending machine. Oh, interesting. Yoink all these plushies for myself. Oh, this thing is inaccurate as fuck. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. This the auto pistol seems like it. Oh, that hurts. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Where, dude? Oh, that's actually really nice. Seems like a great way to waste 10 millimeter ammo. Uh, the fuck was that? Oh, that! Oh, the cars are all exploding. Oh, interesting. Those are just pumpkins. The cars are just exploding right now. Spooky time, Mr. Fuzzy. Nice. Um, yeah, that's kind of creepy. What does it say? What does it say? Oh, that's radioactive now, not. Steal all the pumpkins. 
Yeah, those car explosions were massive. The Mothman cometh. Cool. Um, yeah, we need to keep going this way. Uh, no, we don't. Jangles got lost at the fair. Find him. Speak to the scrapper at Tyler County Fairground. Okay, so there is something we still need to do here. Good thing I checked before running too far. Jangles. Are these the guys we shot earlier? Teddy Fear? What are you hey, doing up here? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> oh, you're not one of those creeps. Well, you, you, you here to rob me? With jokes on you, don't got nothing. Ah, uh, you talk to the well done guy, huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, uh, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Could kill them all, if I wanted. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. Island nearby's got a big nest in it. You bring me an egg? I'll give you what I got. Government-issued astral transporter. Snagged it on my way out of the lab. Takes your physical form, and drops it right into the astral plane. Makes you nearly invisible. Makes it a whole lot easier to take folks out of this world at the same time. Interesting. Oh, I suppose there's some logic to that. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, we got a stealth boy, nice. Makes you invisible, not agile. I can't run so good since I escaped from the government. But I bet you can. Something nasty enough that I... Alright. Something that... Mind the low... Yeah, unrefined gunpowder I keep finding, and I assume... It's going to be used for something. I assume it's like a common... Common crafting ingredient or something. Yeah, it says Jangles got lost at the fair. Says we're right on top of the mark. I don't know if I care to. I probably shouldn't have done that just yet. They have a laser rifle? Okay, take that. Pocketed Raider Armor Limp. Interesting. Yeah, I have no idea. If there's, like, something that they want us to find, 
Um, I'm I'm really not down to search for it. But yes, we've got to go all the way over here. So again, I'm not I'm not hating this game. Like I'm still playing it. It's relatively enjoyable. Um, it's just I have a hard time saying I like it. You know, like would I pay money for this? It's hard. It's honestly it, it's hard to say. Like the fact that it's free on Steam right now, and the fact that there's a premium system in the game. Um. Fallout first premium system, which is like more expensive per month than the base game costs right now is is like one of the things that just like, eh, I don't know. I'm going to play it for free. I'm playing it for free. I'm probably even going to continue playing it tomorrow. What is that? Legendary Scorch Beast? What? Freaking legendary Scorch Beast just flying through the sky. I, I'm probably going to continue playing it tomorrow, but honestly, I, I don't see myself really playing it beyond that. I mean, we'll see. Again, I've said things and just have completely like done a 180 on them. So I'm playing it. That's all I know. Will I pay for it when the time comes? I may very well. We'll see. We'll see. Didn't that, that other guy wanted us to collect an egg? That guy's level 46. Are they gonna shoot it? Interesting. Do we both share loot? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, like, again, I'm playing this game. I've been playing it for almost four hours now. And I'd say overall, it's definitely worth giving a try for free. But that's pretty much all I can say. Like, I'm not going to say with confidence that I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to say with confidence that I'm going to keep playing it. But it's been okay. not see me or what? Whoa, whoa. You checked in yet? No one's allowed in without the box. No!
I'm gonna worry about looting after I'm done with this. Uh, please don't step backwards. This guy had an automatic pipe rifle, which I kind of want to try. Because it uses 308, right? Where the fuck was that guy? He just like said something. And... Huh? Where? Oh. Oh damn, this thing wrecks. Oh my. Right. And we wrecked so many people getting in here. Marksman sniper rifle? Uh, yes, please. the sniper rifle is gonna do in close quarters damn dude they had settlers freaking locked up in cages yeah wait how much how valuable is this uh not not too valuable it's not worth picking up unless i'm gonna use it can i equip this I've got a hard hat with the... That's ridiculous. What does the scope look like? Oh, that's a very, very zoomed in scope. I don't see anyone else. Oh, there's someone. You stuck Camp. Fuck. It's very, very hard to handle this. One shot, headshot, though. Where? This thing is very ammo efficient, it feels like. Oh, I can go up that? Sure. I 
wonder, is the metal arm better? 8-1? Kinda. Yeah, it is better. I should be picking those up. Alright, we gotta go inside here. I'm gonna switch to my the automatic pipe rifle. I think this is gonna do the most damage per second. It said enter his team leader. I don't know what that... I don't know what that means. Brewing station. Shine jug. I don't think there's gonna be scattered laser rifle. Take that. I remember this from Fallout 4. Um Yeah, this is all just scrap. How what's our inventory space? We're almost full. I can't keep picking up scrap. Yeah, I, I can't keep picking up scrap. I think these are worth... Raider power helmet. Um, that's very good. You must be in power armor to equip this. Okay. Yeah, now we're now we're full on on stuff. Uh, I don't think there's a place here to ah scrap items, scrap all junk. Boom. All right, we're good on inventory space again. I wonder what do you do at the brewing station? Okay. Wine and beer, I think, messes up your int. Yeah, we just scrapped all junk. Yeah, I think I think we're good here, right? Did I go down here? Oh, there's a guy. <laughs> They got zapped. Yeah, this this is basically like a laser shotgun. Oh, this is the first safe I've found. He finally managed to get himself killed. <laughs> Batter was a long shot anyway. Always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. Hmm. 
They're running a parade Roper. through here now. You want to tell me who the hell you are and what you want? Uh. I hadn't realized I was looking so much like a milk carton. Unless you've got real business, I suggest you get the hell out of here. <laughs> his gun is like fucked up in his hand. Is that so? And why exactly would I do that? Because I'm Crane and I know where the treasure is? Sure you are. But if you know where your treasure is, well, then I'm all ears. <laughs> Maybe the real treasure has been here all along. Friendship. <laughs> Barrel of laughs, aren't you? Now. Are you going to tell me where this thing is, or are you just wasting my time? Yeah, we don't know where it is, actually. Are we going to find it for them? No. Don't appreciate having my chain yanked. Come back when you've found something worth my time. Oh, interesting. So now I have what? to... Is that so? Attack? Sure you. What happens if I... Damn right you will. But I'm a generous man. You bring me the location first, you'll get your fair share. Now get out. Don't try and screw me on this. Uh... You won't like the results. So talk to Duchess. Who's Duchess? Find out what the key unlocks. Oh, Duchess is back at the... Yeah, we can fast travel there, I think, right? We need to leave this area. I do want to see what we can get by trying to work with them. Let's see what we can get by trying to work with them. Otherwise, I mean, we could just we could just kill them and then uh, we could just kill them and progress the quest. It's fine. We've got quite a bit of loot from this quest alone. Like this laser, the scatter laser gun is pretty pretty powerful. Footlocker. I do want to get my camp. It's interesting that they're like willing to work with us even though we just killed most of their crew. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh man, I hate being out of stamina all the time. I really should have just gone for all of the benefits in stamina. Agility. All right, let's get our camp down here. And then let's fast travel. Can I fast travel there? No, I can't. Yeah, I think uh, I'll complete this, but after that, I'm going to leave it off. Uh, what is that? 
Bessie. Giant death robot. You're back. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I guess I should have specified how I would have liked this to be resolved. I suppose it's on both our heads to find this treasure then. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Oh, so she does now. Maybe. My age, memories get unreliable. Music to my ears. Missing person number one's named Polly. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the... Appreciate right. it. Find out what happened to him. Yeah, so we decided not to just kill them. Um, now, I suspect that this would have happened anyway. We would have had to find these people anyway. But yeah, that we're progressing the quest. I wanted to see what would happen if we didn't kill them and tried to strike a deal with them. Because if we find the treasure, the treasure might be worthwhile. Um, and Duchess lied to us. Well, she didn't lie to us. She just didn't hint that she actually knew who Crane was. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's a player's a player's camp. Yeah, so investigate Morgantown was a continuation of the Flatwood stuff, I believe. Um Yeah, the map seems pretty sizable. Like it's a it's a pretty big map. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh I may continue this tomorrow, or I may do Helldivers. We'll see we'll see how I feel about it. Uh this is gonna be free to play for another two days. So I, I'm enjoying it. I, I recommend giving it a try for free. Uh, it feels okay. Um, I think I, I made it pretty clear, like the premium stuff and, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If you've been enjoying my videos, please consider liking and subscribing. And I will be on in the future. Thank you.